Well, I did some research, came out to a new lake that I've never been here before. So, got a few coins already, but here's my first uh, target. It's definitely a 2012 class ring. Uh, ringing up to like a 70, so it uh, most likely is going to be gold. Well, it is Friday. It's my day off, so I'm headed out to the lake. Getting a late start today. I wanted to get up this morning and go out to a lake I haven't been at for a while but I just had a rough night didn't sleep well so I didn't get up and I had to go over and pick up uh, my church's youth group from their youth camp and so I'm just now getting out it's about 12 45 and I'm headed out to a couple of lakes just kind of in the area got some lakes I'm gonna hit tomorrow I'm gonna be some bigger lakes and uh, so we're gonna give our best shot and uh, Go out today and just kind of have some fun and just kind of unwind a little bit and hopefully we'll find a few rings in the process if not hey it's good just getting out and, and uh, just enjoying the time and enjoying the hobby i'm meeting some friends and who knows i might can be of help to someone along the way but anyway let's go let's go see if we can find some treasures in the lakes maybe mother eartha give her up today and we'll come home with a kind of gold ring and some uh, silver some good stuff all right i'll see you out in the lake Well, I've got an 82 right here. Let me show you. It's a real good high tone. I just came through the lake and I can feel where people have detected this already. I uh, stepped in their holes and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do, since I know it's been detected in the main part, I'm gonna focus out here on the uh, outside perimeters and focus out deep. I'm six foot two, so I can usually get out deeper than most guys can get out. But uh, this is not very deep. I'm just going to reach down here and see what this is. This sounds like it's right on top, and it's a good target. So let's go down there, and let's see if we can find it together. All right, it's right at the end of my coil. Let me put my foot down there, and let's go down there with the pro pointer and see. It's what it was sounding like. Uh, that looks like a, a vintage looking ring. Some black stuff on top of it right here. Looks like it's a, a silver ring. Rings up a solid high tone 82. Looks kind of vintage. With a little baguettes or something in there. Hey, that's a nice ring. I'll take that. Haven't been here maybe 15 minutes. But working the outside perimeters. Trying to stay away from the middle because that's where everybody's been hitting. I feel the dig hole. So let's keep working out here and see what we come up with.
This is a nice find. This was ringing up as an 84. It's gold, but it rings up as an 84. If I look down at the marking, it says 925. So it must be a gold-plated silver. I tell you what, I've been on a run with these black stones and some diamonds, so I bet those are fake CZs and a fake stone. But hey, a gold-plated silver, 84 was ringing up. That's a good find. I'll take that. I'm out here to chin deep, so I'm about five foot of water out here, and that's what I wanted to work, the outside edges and the deep ends, because that's where a lot of people don't get the rings, and uh, they miss them. And they're hard to scoop out here, because I don't have a good bottom right here. It's real, uh, got a lot of moss on it. But anyway, hey, that's number two. Let's keep on going. Here is an 87, 88 to a 90. It's an 86. All right, what do you think it is? Is it gonna be a silver ring or it's gonna be a quarter? It's got a high tone, like a silver ring. Can you hear this? Very high tone. And again, I'll put a card in my description right here uh, I'll put a card right here linking to a video showing about the tips and strategies and that's what I'm kind of doing today since in the middle it's been hit so I've been working the outside edges and I'm out here uh, just about chest deep water and uh, all the main swimming area is right over there and I'm way out here to the sides so let me uh, put you underwater let me see if you can see the numbers and then we'll go down together and get this It's definitely right it's gonna be a big silver could have been a quarter but ringing up anywhere from an 88 that's gonna be a little higher than a quarter again it's the black stone and these diamonds I've been last couple of rings I found that uh, that's a pretty ring right there that's a nice 925 right there and right on the inside probably fake diamonds but it looks kind of vintage hey number three working the outside perimeters of the uh, swim area so we're gonna stay with a little bit more, see what we come up with. All right, number three, let's keep on going. I got one more lake to hit today. Well, I moved on from that other lake. I'm back out here to this private resort lake and uh, it's been all the way through the summer. I've only hunted this once. I did it with Gypsy. We found one ring out here. And so I thought I'd come back today, see what we come up with. It's not that big of a swimming area. But last year I took six rings out of here and one this year. And so uh, it's been a couple of months and since Memorial Day and 4th of July. So maybe we'll find some, so let's go. Uh, on my way home, didn't find anything but a pair of glasses at the other one, and I got a 39 to 40 real jumpy, scratchy signal. Pick it up, it's going to be a, uh, I think a silver chain is what it's going to be. So I'll take a silver chain. I have to look on the clasp if there is one. There's a small one there. I doubt that would tell me it's silver. May not be. But anyway, that's a nice find. We'll keep on going. Did some research, came out to a new lake that I've never been here before. Uh, dug a few coins already, but here's my first uh, target. It's definitely a 2012 class ring, uh, ringing up like a 70. So it uh, most likely is going to be gold. Uh, there's some markings in it. Let's see. If I can find out what it says. 
Well, I can't tell what it says. I sure wish I had young eyes again. Uh, I can't tell. But anyway, we'll clean it up and see what it is. But that's first good find. Let's keep on going. Maybe this will be a good day. Well, I moved on from that other lake and uh, came out here to this other lake here in the same uh, state that I'm in. I'm in a different state than Texas. I don't want to give that away. Anyway, I found another silver ring. It was ringing up real scratchy because it's broken on the bottom, but uh, it's definitely ringing up silver in the high 80s. Anyway, been in the water for about five minutes. This is my first ring. All right, let's keep going. Well, I made it back home. It's been a long weekend. I went out hunting on Friday and Saturday. I went three lakes on Friday, three lakes today, two lakes out of state, and uh, just now getting back. But I had a pretty good trip. Not This year has just really been few on rings, even though I got several rings, but I just not like last year. I just, you know, last year 71 rings, year before 72 rings. This year I'm struggling even at 30 rings this far into the summer. Just not a lot of lakes were open, not a lot of swimmers out there, but uh, hey, I'm not complaining. I got some, and I got some good stuff today, uh, all silver and golds, no junk rings. And so let me uh, turn you around, let me show you what I got. Well, here's the trash, typical stuff like always. Did get a washer, that was unusual, got a washer out there. Got some prescription glasses, a uh, little hair barrette, and this is a 40 40, 70. Man, that's a big bullet right there. I don't know what that's doing out in the lake. A couple of little earrings, a couple of big earrings. Got one uh, Texas Lotto token. Ended up getting one, two, three, four dollars and seventy-five cents in quarters. Got eighty cents in dimes. I got a nickel and six pennies. As far as jewelry, I got one little piece of a bracelet. I got a little necklace here, a little some type of chain bracelet. Uh, might be silver. I'm gonna clean it up and see if it's silver or not. But here are the good finds. I did get one silver ring at that last lake I was at. And I uh, got two rings yesterday. Uh, today was definitely silver and black onyx. So I guess that's what that is. That one, that one rang up real high. And then I got another. This is actually silver gold plated. And uh, that's kind of like a blue sapphire. I've got to check if those diamonds are real. I doubt it since it's silver. I doubt it will. But to me, the find of the day is going to be this... Uh, this ring right here, if I can get it to focus in. I don't know why my camera doesn't focus anymore. But this is Lorenzo from, uh, that's over in Louisiana. 2012 senior class ring. His initials are in there. I'm going to show the video in just a second. I'm going to go in there and show y'all how I clean this up. And you see how tarnished it is? I'm going to show you how this thing will shine up in just a minute. see how that ring cleaned up now it does have initials in it we'll see if we can't find the owner to this and maybe do a ring return here next week or two all right that wraps up this wrap up so let's get in there and take some pictures and uh, put all this video together for you one of the fans in my Facebook page preacher digger was asking about my scoop 
and uh, he wanted to, me to show him a little bit about the scoop. So my scoop is really tore up. This thing is, uh, I've uh, had this thing for six years now, and that stainless steel tip on it is um, just about gone. It, uh, it's hard to scoop sometimes with it like that. i got to beat it back out. But anyway, I'm going to get through this water season, drill all that out, put a new piece of stainless steel in there. But what this scoop was, I bought this uh, off a friend of mine at East Texas Metal Detectors. But it's reinforced at 6 inches wide and about uh, 8, 9 inches deep. And uh, it was originally a two-piece. I had this piece and this piece, and it, it molted together right here. I can travel with it. I still have one like that. But it just kept working loose, so I told myself, I'm just fixing to tear, tear that off. Took it down to a welder, and I had him uh, take a longer shaft and uh, put on there for me and just TIG weld this together. And when he was doing that, I had him put on this little handle right here. So that really helps when you're bringing it up out of the water. I can shake it like that and uh, get a good little hand, hand grip on it. But uh, I just put a little noodle on it, strap tied it in, and uh, just duct taped over there where those strap ties wouldn't hit me. But they're also asking about my GoPro, what I use. I'm just using the uh, Hero Black uh, uh, 5. Uh, that's my main camera that I film on. I do my wrap-ups on my phone. But it's just the GoPro with the GoPro uh, uh, neck and alligator clip. And so I take it off, and when I want to go film my shots underwater... I'll just put it on like this and do do my water shots like that and uh, so that way you get kind of the perspective down on, on the lake but then you can take this and put it back on your anywhere you want to put it then I have another GoPro Hero Black 5 that's on a stand and I use that for my b-roll my my uh, uh, b-shots uh, you know time lapses and all that kind of stuff but anyway, it was a good week, a good weekend. Anytime you get rings this year, it seems like it's a good thing. There's all my trash. Here's my treasures. Here's the good treasures right here. Three silvers, silver plated gold, and a gold. And let's go clean that up in just a second. But like I always say, the greatest treasure is not what's sitting on the back of the tailgate. The greatest treasure you saw a while ago in that video and that picture is my grandson, Thomas. He's three months old. He's my greatest treasure. But... Greatest treasure isn't what's on the tailgate. Greatest treasure what's in heaven, my friends. Keep looking up. Keep searching. Until we meet again, I just want to say happy hunting and God bless.